Chief Electoral Officer, Advocate Pansy Tlakula, advised on the ISC election readiness and the minor hiccups that occurred during the first day of special votes. Elections uh, to 2011 has begun in earnest, as we know. This morning we opened our voting stations at 8 o'clock for special voting. I voted and all the procedures were duly followed. My left thumb has been duly marked, so that means that I cannot vote again because the question always arises of how are we going to ensure that uh, there is no double voting. In fact, the majority of people who are casting their special votes today and tomorrow are those who will be visited at home. Most of our voting stations opened on time today at 8 o'clock and they will remain open until 5 o'clock. Some voting stations did not um, open at all. We have only opened stations where there are people who have applied successfully for a special vote. Of course, we have experienced some insignificant administrative or operational glitches. We received a few reports that in some of our voting stations there were no envelopes. In some voting stations, one or two, there were no ballot papers, uh, ballot boxes, not ballot papers, ballot boxes. Two stations were unavailable uh, simply because in one there was a funeral that we were not told about, so we had to find an alternative venue. In another, there was a tennis tournament, uh, which also <laughs> took place this morning and we had to find another venue. Some weather problems in few places. Uh, we opened late and some of our tents were blown off, but we have all, uh, these have all, all been replaced. We opened at 7 o'clock on the 18th and our stations will close at 7 p.m. and we will then uh, start counting by uh, about 10 o'clock on, on Wednesday evening or so, first results will start coming in. We are worried about the weather because we I saw that uh, at least the free state and some parts of housing. But to say to South Africans, really we are made of, uh, we don't melt. <laughs> so <laughs> let's, we can't. Let's go out to the voting stage. Just take an umbrella. It's winter. We have contingency plans for the weather, for electricity, for people not showing up who are our electoral staff. So you ha we have to make contingency plans for almost everything so that uh, a voting process is not uh, uh, disrupted.